CNET.com slash live is the place to find your favorite CNET tech shows. From the hottest gadgets to the latest tech news, we stream it live five days a week at CNET.com slash live. Hi, this is Jessica Dahlcourt for CNET.com. I'm taking a first look at the Samsung Solstice 2 for AT&T. This is another quick messaging phone. It's a sequel to the original Solstice. Looks wise, it's, it's pretty decent looking. It's got a black face and back. It looks fairly similar to the previous version, except it's got a smoother backing instead of the leatherette backing that the original Solstice had. There is a three inch touch screen that looks pretty nice and it does have Samsung's TouchWiz 2 interface. They're not really customizable, it's really only the widgets that Samsung offers. And you also have three home screens here. It comes with a digital QWERTY keyboard on screen that's pretty comfortable and easy to use. Externally, you do have as an extra a shortcut button. There is a 2 megapixel camera on the back that actually produces pretty good photos. On the inside, apps include email, instant messaging, AT&T Music, AT&T Navigator, and sundry others. Call quality on this phone was variable. It was a little bit worse on our side, and our callers actually enjoyed much better call quality. This phone costs $29.99 with a new two-year service agreement. I'm Jessica Dahlcourt, looking at the Samsung Solstice 2 for AT&T. CNET.com slash live is the place to find your favorite CNET tech shows. From the hottest gadgets to the latest tech news, we stream it live five days a week at CNET.com slash live.